Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm sharing with you a follow-up to my half wrap vinyl glitter pens. Um, this time it's going to be Christmas themed because I'm getting ready for a Christmas craft show in a couple months. So I hope you enjoy and I hope I answer some of your questions. So I'm going to start by disassembling my pens and twisting off the clip on the pen. So when you twist off the clip, you can, people say you can use like a knife to cut off the sharp little nub, but I cannot do that for the life of me. So I just sand it down and then I'll also sand down the rest of my pen just to prep it for epoxy. And then I wash it and I use Dawn Power Wash. So this is a part of my video that kind of seemed to confuse people um, in terms of how much vinyl I use. People kept asking what size I use. I don't measure this. I literally, well, I measure it like I'm doing here just against the pen and then I just trim it and every single piece is going to be a different size. I'm literally just trying to use up leftover scraps of vinyl. Um, so there's no measurements to it. I just cut it to the size I want it and then I place it and I roll it on and it's really that simple. Sometimes I'll go in and use a craft knife to trim off the excess, but most of the time, honestly, I just keep wrapping it um, until it's all the way wrapped around the pen. And then just make sure that your edges are pressed down really well because you don't want any um, loose edges popping up with the epoxy because then you're going to get, it's going to mess up your vinyl and you're going to get sharp parts on it and it's just going to be a pain in the butt. I also don't worry too much if the top part of the vinyl, so the part in the middle of the pen, is straight because I'm going to be covering that with another strip of vinyl anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then I do worry a little bit about the bottom, so if it overlaps a little bit, which you'll see in a minute it does on another pen, um, I will trim that so that it looks even and, and looks nice. So here's where you can see my vinyl wasn't even at the bottom of the pen, so I do go in with my knife and I just trim that little part off to make it all even and look nice. Okay, then I go in with Mod Podge and I just put on my Mod Podge. I tried using this, this silicone brush and it wasn't working, so I just got a regular paintbrush. Um, and I think in my last video I taped the vinyl so I didn't get any Mod Podge on it, but I've gotten to the point where I'm like, I don't really care and I just do it by hand um, or freehand, whatever you want to say. And then I put on my glitter. Uh, for this pen, I'm using Garnet by Glitter Chimp. And then I'm just going to repeat the process for each of my pens. Um, if you're interested in vinyl, like what vinyl I used and what glitters I used, um, I'll have all of that linked down below in the description. When you're applying your Mod Podge, try to make it so that there are no like thick lines of Mod Podge and it all goes on nice and evenly because that's going to give you the best glitter coverage.
Then I do two good coats of clear spray paint to seal in my glitter so it doesn't move when I do epoxy. So I couldn't find my Vaseline, so I'm using Neosporin instead, and guys, it worked just fine. Um, let's take a minute to talk about the contraption that my pens are on. This is from Glitter Chimp, um, and it's kind of like a pen attachment for your um, spinner. And you want to put your pens on colored pencils, and then you can put the colored pencils inside this contraption. I don't know what to call it. Um... And this just makes it easier to apply your epoxy and make multiple pens at one time. Okay, so then you're gonna apply your epoxy and you don't need this much. You literally need a less than five ml of epoxy. Um, and in case I didn't mention it before, the reason that you put the Vaseline or Neosporin on the pen is so that the epoxy doesn't stick to the colored pencil and you can easily take your pen off. Now you can see I applied my first, I applied the epoxy on the first pen when it was stationary, so my spinner wasn't going. I prefer to do it while the spinner is going. It just makes it easier for me. Um, so whatever works best for you. So you're just gonna apply your epoxy in very thin layers. For these pens, you do not wanna do a thick flood coat or anything like that. You want nice thin layers. So for the strip in the middle, it's easiest to do it on Cricut and just make a rectangle um, that is 11 inches long and 0 0.015, 0 0.025 um, in width. So you're just going to wrap that strip around the middle and then trim off the excess. Okay, so then you're gonna add another coat of epoxy. Sometimes you might need more than one more coat to cover all of your vinyl and all of your glitter. It all depends. Um, just add your final coats and that should be about it. So when the pens are done and the epoxy is cured, you wanna take a craft knife and just clean out the inside of the pen both ends of it and then I also sand the bottom just to make it easier to get my my what's it called the top of the pen on <laughs> then you're just going to reassemble your pen and make sure that it clicks when it's all reassembled because I've had pens that get stuck and then you have to go back in and clean it out again and that's it that's how you make it I hope I answered any questions you guys might have if you have any more please leave them below and I'll see you later